Alright, what's up YouTube? I'm in Emulation Station right now and when you first boot up your image for Ray's 128 gig or the 32 gig, you should be prompted with a screen like this. It'll go RetroPie, boot up screen, Emulation Station, boot up screen, and then it'll ask you to configure your input. Now if you already configured an input and you did it wrong and you want to redo it or you want to update it after the fact, the way you do that is you go into your emulation station main menu, go ahead and click the start button on your controller and scroll down to configure input A and it says hold the A button on your device to configure or escape to enter to exit. So you're going to go ahead and hold down the A button. It can see that we have an Xbox 360 controller. The D-pad is this lower left hand pad here, the non-analog one. So let's go ahead and go up, down, left, right. Easy enough. Start select, we have the glowing green button in the middle, we have the start on the right, so let's go ahead and click that, and we have the select on the left. Fairly easy. The next couple buttons, A, B, X, Y, are already labeled on this controller. So A goes to A, B goes to B, X, and Y. Now as far as shoulder versus trigger on the back of the controller, the shoulder is the one closest to the front of the controller, the triggers are the ones all the way in the back that are similar to like the Nintendo 64 controller, the button on the back. So left shoulder, top button, right shoulder, top button, left trigger all the way in the back, the furthest button that you hit with your index fingers. Well, I guess you hit both of the index fingers, but the lower ones. Now this is the trick, this is where most people mess up. Now you're gonna do the thumb, you're gonna be pressing in on the left and the right. So you're gonna go from the left, click in, and then the right, click in. So you got button 11, 12. Now, now you're actually going to go up, down, left, right on the analog sticks. If you're using a controller that doesn't use two analog sticks, you can hold down any button that you've used already and it will skip it. You just got to hold it down for about two to three seconds and it'll skip down this list. So it will not let you proceed to the bottom of this menu. It will not let you proceed to OK on the bottom of this menu until you have either skipped it or assigned it a key. So back on this controller, we're still we're on the left analog stick in my left thumb. So now I'm going to go up, down, left, right. And the last thing is my right thumb analog stick, up, down, left, right. And there you have it. You're going to go ahead and continue forward. And now I've successfully configured this Xbox 360 controller. So the other really cool thing about this controller, it does have a built-in rumble pack. So I can make it do it on its own by clicking into the two thumb analog sticks at the same time. I don't know if you can hear that, but I have it vibrating on the actual microphone. Just as long as you're in any game, it'll vibrate. So it does vibrate when you're in a game, not when you're outside of a game. But just a little add an extra bonus. Here's an actual diagram of the Xbox 360 controller showing you where each input is. The only thing you cannot see on this image in front of you right now is the left and right uh, trigger. And those are the back buttons on the back of the controller. Those should be self-explanatory though because they're the only buttons that are missing in this picture here. This is a great controller to use. It's very price competitive. Um, you can do the PS3, PS4 controller, which is also a great choice. If you could like and subscribe to this video, we would really appreciate it. Another way to support our channel is below you should see some Amazon affiliate links to Raspberry Pi gear as well as this controller. If you can use those links to purchase your controllers and Raspberry Pi gear, it gives us a little kickback and it costs you the same and we would really appreciate it. We wish you the best of luck and until next time.